drinking his head off. You must forgive us, Mrs. Ebony, but there's something very important to be said. We had to make sure you came. I, I don't understand. What are you doing? What's going on? Well, it's... It's like this, Mrs. Ebony. Like what? Your husband's not towing the line. He's not doing what we tell him. Well, I should hope not. But if he doesn't, something very nasty is going to happen to him. Or to you. Or to both. Because if he doesn't cooperate, if he doesn't do just what he's told, and stop poking his nose about where it isn't wanted, then we shall do to him what we did to Mr. Pelham. What you did to Mr. Pelham? We killed Pelham, and we're quite prepared to kill Ebony. Or you. Or both. I believe the word of this. I'd go to the police. Your husband tried that. He got as far as the headmaster. But he felt so silly that he came away again. You see, we've all got perfect alibis. 100% alibis, every single one of us. Well, you won't get any change out of me. <laughs> Intimidate me. Which way? Tell her the idea. We are going to show you how grown up we can be. In a very special way. In a way you won't want to tell me about. You won't dare tell me about. You'll be so ashamed. Feel so dirty, so disgusted with what's happened to you. Well, now that you've succeeded in exciting each other, which one of you men is going to start? Wittery. I mean, Wittering should start. <laughs> not. Why not? Wittering has some love. Yes, yes. yes. you told her, now you can show us. Yes, yes, yes. 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 yes.
John. John. 